Hi everyone, this is Tammy from Snowstorm Crafts. And today I wanna to show you guys how to make a fabric cover and the inside of a journal that will fold like this with the flap. And I'm gonna show you how to do it with an ordinary box that you probably can find in your kitchen. So please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. Okay, so. This will fold like this, and then we'll do a little closure for it, but I'm going to show you guys how to do the quilted front and how to do the pockets in the inside. Okay, so this is what I have. I have everything pre-cut to size, and it's gonna be right to go here. So, I cut my material and then I have my pockets the size I want. And what you guys are gonna wanna do, if you want to, you don't have to, but to give it that padded quilt look, like the quilted, so it's kinda, when you sew through, it's kinda padded looking and quilted. You will need either a receiving blanket would work, like one of the, a baby's receiving blanket, flannel would work, or batting. So this is just some batting and it's just a cotton batting that you can get at any quilt store or Joanne Fabrics or anything. And it's just a, just a batting for thickness. So a receiving blanket or even flannel would work. So if you have some old flannel pajamas or old flannel blanket, throw a blanket or something that cut it up and use it on this. Okay. So those are the things you can use. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go to my, after you cut it to the size of, and I'll show you, let me show you this part. So this is the part you can find in your kitchen. So this one is a drumstick ice cream container, as you can see. And that's what we're gonna use for this one. And what I used on this one was a stove top box that we did for Thanksgiving. So it was a turkey stove top, top box. And I was like, that would be perfect to do a little flap. And then uh, I'll show you guys how to do a little closure and we'll wrap it around. But so go to your kitchen, see what you got. And let's go from there. Okay. So now I want to go ahead. We don't need this yet. But what you're going to want to do with the box is I went ahead and inked just all the edges. But... You're gonna to wanna to cut all the flaps off. So you just take it and cut the flaps. And uh, let me go grab another one and I'll show you guys. So exactly. I will show you. So I just took a box, one of the drumstick boxes, and you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and just tear it apart. And then on the inside here, if you guys can see this, see the how it's connected right there? See how they connected it and they just glued it. So you're just gonna wanna take your finger and just go ahead and pop that out of here and just open it up. Just like that. So then this is what you got. And then you're just gonna wanna take and cut all your flaps off. So here, I'll show you how I did it real quick. So I just went ahead and I just did a little section at a time. So you're just gonna wanna do that. And just go ahead and get all your flaps off. And don't let the ruler move. Jeez, that's my big problem. Okay, so just like that. And then you'll cut all these flaps off. Even the little one, this one, this one, this one. Keep this flap. Keep the flap at the end because that's gonna be the fold like that. So this is just pretty much with all the flaps off, which is all these little guys. So to cut those off and keep this flap. And this is what you got. So you're gonna just fold it like that and like that. And that gives you a little folder. And if you don't wanna fold over, you can just go ahead and cut that off and then you just have a journal like that but the little flap over is kind of fun so there we go so that's how you do that 
I hope that helps. Okay. So now back to here. So we're gonna take this and I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and I'll bring you guys over there so you can see, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do a wiggly, just straight stitch. So I'm gonna go like a wiggly, turn, wiggle down, turn, wiggle up, and just do that all the way down, just like that. So let's go do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line this up. Just maybe a half inch from the edge here on this side over here because we're gonna go ahead and sew this part to the journal. So we'll zigzag it. So just like that. And then we're just gonna wanna, whoops, that's supposed to be on a straight stitch. That was on the zigzag stitch. So just go ahead and you're just gonna wanna kinda just flow it around. Just kinda waving it back and forth a little bit. Then come to the end about a half an inch, turn it, go about a half an inch, turn it, and then you're just gonna wanna wave it again. And stop about a half an inch, turn it, go about an inch or a half an inch, however you wanna do. And then just wave it around. You can do straight lines if you want, but I think it gives a, a little more character, just kind of waving it. So just keep doing that all the way down. So we got it all sewn up. You can see all the little stitches going through like that. Those showing up. There we go, you can see I'm kind of running through. Okay, so we just did that. And if you guys have any extra, like if it's poking out the top, like a little like here, you can go ahead and just trim those parts off. So get those. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and getting out your craft supplies and crafting along with me. And getting out your pretty materials. Don't save your pretties, use your pretties because when are you going to use them, you know? You always have a special project, but we'll just get them out and use them up. That's why we bought them. That's why we got them. So now we got this far. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. Let's see. So, yep, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and glue it to the front of our box. And then we'll leave the other side of the box just open. I mean, we don't need to do anything but in between. You can ink in between, which I did on this one, on the other one. And uh, it'll just be the cardboard showing through so that it looks nice. I mean, I like that look. It's just one less extra step, you know. See, I went ahead and inked in between. I did some, uh, what did I use? I used Vintage Photo. So go ahead and do that or whichever you want to do. Okay. Okay, so let's make sure we're doing it the right way. It's going to go like this. So you want it right side up. And you want this right side up. So we're going to go ahead and make sure it's the right way up and we're going to glue it on. Just do a light glue because we're going to go ahead and uh, do a stitch all the way around and secure it, a zigzag stitch. So this is Fabrifix glue and it works for fabric, lace, leather, trims and more. So it does a great job. And we're just going to do, we're going to start on one side here. So make sure you're doing it right. So it's right side up. And you're gonna want it to close like this. So 
make sure that's right. Okay, and then we're just gonna start with the little light gluing and work our way down. So I'll show you this part. You're just going to want to line it up. Make sure it looks good. Okay. And we'll just keep going. We'll go like this and then do some more glue and then work our way down. all glued and then you're going to want to take it and just go ahead and crease it where it needs to go and fold it where it wants to go there we go so we got the back of it got the spine and then we got the cover there we go and then any excess that you want to cut off Go ahead and get it cut. And then we're gonna go over to our sewing machine. And we're gonna just go ahead and zigzag all the way around it. Just to secure it all. And we're gonna, here, I'll show you. So we're gonna go ahead I'm going to start and just zigzag all the way around the whole outside of it all. Okay. All right, so we got that sewn around. And just go ahead and close it. Check out your work. See how it looks. Looks pretty good. And that's the inside of it. You can see the zigzag around it. Okay. So we got the outside done. So that's pretty quick and easy. Outside done. Now let's go ahead and pop everything on the inside of it. So what we got here is however you want to do it. I just have some six by six. Let's make sure you guys are in frame. Okay, so I got some just six by six cardstock here, scrap paper. And I'm just gonna line that up there. Here. And this will be the middle. This is some avocado, avocado dyed paper. I'm going to have a video on how to do that. I do avocado and onion skin dyed paper. And this is on graph paper, so that's going to go there. And with the pockets, I did uh, a batting. So you can do a flannel batting or whatever. Or It helps if you want to do like a cloth or, I mean, a fabric pocket. It helps to have a little something, you know, stiffer. So flannel, receiving blanket on the back or uh, batting. But that's going to go there, this is going to go here, and then this is going to go here. So that's how it's going to look. And you can ink all your stuff around if you want. This I'm going to take over to the sewing machine. And I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead. I'm going to do a zigzag stitch all the way around. So I'm going to go do that real quick. So we got those sewn around it. We just did a zigzag all the way around, like that. Both of them. Okay, so those are done. Put them to the side and let's start gluing everything down. So I'm just gonna take my art glitter glue 
and it dries pretty fast and I love it. It's great. And I'm just gonna go ahead and glue everything and place it all down. We got this far now, got it all glued, got the pockets glued down, and then it's looking good, looking good. Okay, so we got this far. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our Cropodile, which is a hole puncher for 3 16 or 1 8 hole puncher, and it is an eyelet setter. So you can set your eyelets too. And that's what we're gonna do is both. So I just got this on this whole kit on Amazon and let's see what color do we want gold or green might be cool huh yeah what do you guys think of green that's kind of fun yellow well there's more green I like the green okay Green it is. Go on green. Okay. And we're going to want to set it. Okay. We're just going to want to punch it. Oh, at a weird angle. Okay. Just like that. So we're going to take our 3 16 hole punch. And I'm going to try to find the middle here. else that was not punched. Yep, done with that now. We'll pop this through. So just our little eyelet. down before I set it just to make sure it bites onto everything I need it to okay and then you're gonna go ahead and take we'll do the top part so you're gonna take the pokey part here and set that down through the top and then the flat disc goes on the bottom to flatten it so it just sets in here just like that. And then you just squeeze it. And give it a good squeeze. And it flattens like that. So then it is in there. It's not going nowhere. Okay, and then whatever closure you guys want to use. So that looks nice. I like that. The green looks good. And what I have is this. It's just a linen skirt that I had. And uh, that's why it's good to keep old clothes or stuff from Goodwill or uh, anything that anybody's getting rid of. Be like, yep, I'll take it. Because you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Uh, this was a linen skirt and it was one of those really long ones. And it's great. It works great for different things. Okay, so let's see how... Do we want to do this? Thinking. What if we go like this? I'm going to want to do this. Just tying a knot. Just 
to make sure it doesn't come through, right? Okay. And then it'll be like that. And it'll wrap around. And we could tuck it with something on it or let's do this. I was almost thinking of doing a dangle thing off this, but that's why I tied a loose knot because sometimes it's fun just to play around with different closures that you can do. So let's try this. If this is long enough, let me see. Because you want it to be long enough. And I just sewed strips together is what I did because I had strips. So I went ahead and just sewn them together, which uh, see, I don't know if that's going to come through or not. I was thinking, I wonder if I did this. Here is an idea I think would work really nice. So you could do a closure like that. And then you could just tie a bow or something right here. So that looks really nice. So that's not a bad idea. So there's different ways to close it. So you could do different, you could do it like that, or like I was thinking, we could do a little uh, knot here. And then maybe hang some beads or something from it. Or you can even loop it like that, just to make it look kind of cool. Not like that. And then you can wrap it around. I was trying to twist it like that. There we go. And then we can wrap it around like this. And we can tuck it. So there, that's another way to do it. And So there's, yeah, there's different ways to, to tie it up and see which ones work best for you and how you want to do it and keep messing with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And here is the other one. And when these are all finished, I will have them in my Etsy shop. So I will do a flip through with you guys when I have the papers. So you could just bind some papers here is what I'm thinking. Just do some papers here and it'll close just like that. So when these are all finished and I have the papers in, bound in, I will do a flip through for them and then I will put these in my Etsy shop. So uh, watch for that video coming up. It should be in a couple days or so. And please, if you could, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share and let's grow together and keep on crafting guys and have a great day.